Good day and good morning. I'm here on the Sandringham Estate with the primary objective of being invited for afternoon tea with Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II. Failing that, I have brought a car with me to review. This is the new BMW iX, and to be honest, this is a really apt environment within which to review it. We've got the very, very old and the really, really new. So essentially, in a nutshell, this is BMW's standalone fully electric all-wheel drive, let me get this right, sports activity vehicle. It features the fifth generation of BMW's pioneering e-drive electric motors, uh, which in the real world means just very, very clever. It has a maximum WLTP electric only range of 257 miles. It'll do 0 to 60 in 6.1 seconds, but that is the very tip of the iceberg. This is a truly state-of-the-art pioneering piece of engineering, and we're going to explore exactly why throughout the course of this video. My name is Alex Yaskowski, and this is the BMW iX. So there is a lot to take in here, but first off, a bit of background. You could think of the iX as the SUV concept reimagined for the new digital era. The iX is available in three grades, X-Drive 40, which is the model that we're driving today, the X-Drive 50, and what will be the range topping M60. For a change, we're going to start off with the interior because inside is arguably where BMW's new connected user-centric ethos is most evident. Fans of contemporary, minimalist design won't be disappointed. The layout has been beautifully curated to create a calm, immersive, feature-rich environment consisting of sustainably sourced materials and beautifully engineered switchgear. This attitude to contemporary simplicity is continued outside as well. It may seem like a very obvious statement, but the iX is not a small car. But rather than try and disguise this fact, as many designers would, the team behind the iX have very much embraced the larger surface areas, taking much of their inspiration from the concept of the monolith in its sculpturesque design ethos. It features a raft of modern features, such as self-healing grills and the thinnest lights ever fitted to a mass-produced BMW vehicle, made possible with cutting-edge BMW laser-like technology. So you're probably wondering what it's like to drive. Well, the iX feels surprisingly competent. My preconceptions were perhaps influenced by prior experiences with larger, heavily digitally augmented cars. However, I'm pleased to report that many of the negative characteristics that are so often prevalent and inherent of such vehicles are not present with the iX. There's a good level of steering feedback and body roll is kept to a minimum, which is once again testament to the level of engineering that has clearly gone into the iX, and in particular, in this instance, its chassis configuration. So there we have it. I hope this video has answered at least some of the questions that you may have had about the BMW iX. I'll be honest, I am a dyed in the wool petrol head and my heart will always lie with the analog super coupes from BMW's back catalogue. But I can appreciate that automotive manufacturers are very much at the mercy of the policymakers within the markets which they operate. And it has helped prompt one of the most radical shifts in automotive manufacturing that we've ever seen. And this is genuinely arguably one of the most ultimate evocations of that attitude towards pushing the boundaries of what is technically possible. If you'd like to find out a little bit more about the iX, please don't hesitate to contact a member of our dedicated BMW team who will be on hand to assist you. But if you don't mind me, I've got a date with a national treasure. <laughs>